Hello, my name is Emily and I'm going to show you how I stamped fabric this week um, and how I did it with linoleum. Okay, so first of all, the materials you'll need for this are 100% cotton fabric. I chose red, white, and green, as you can see. And you'll need uh, a cutter. I use this speedball cutter. Um, it has all different kinds in here that you can use. Uh, personally, like this one, I have some that I've used at school um, that are different they work but this one seems to be the one that I like the most okay so you have your cutter you're gonna have your piece of linoleum this one's really cut down uh, if you can see over here here's some of the stamps that I've previously cut and attempted for this project I have a paw print this one says ho 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 um, this is a bone Christmas tree. This is my dog's name, Arlo. This was the first one I did um, when starting this, just because the last time I had cut stamps was in college, so I decided to take an opportunity to practice, and I just did my last name. Um, as you can see, I cut through the letters, and partially that was because I messed up on the C, and I was then thankful that I um, did do practice, um, but then I tried to make it intentional throughout, so at least it could still look cool. Okay, um, I will show you how to use this tool with these two. I'll do one of them and show you how to cut through it. Um, I also have this speedball print roller that I'm gonna use and this small little plastic container um, that I'm gonna roll the paint in. So next, I also have this little tool which is actually from my Cricut, but um, I used it to help get some of the paint out of the little pieces of my stamp where the paint got into. Um, for this, I watched a couple videos um, that said you could use block printing ink, but you could also use acrylic paint because acrylic paint does not come out of 100% cotton fabric. So I had this paint sitting around, so this is what I chose to use. Um, I'm using grass green, bright red, and just a basic white. All of these came from a Michaels, I'm pretty sure, or Walmart, just really simple stuff. Um, I cut my fabric into nine and a half by 12 and a half. I originally laid out my project to be, which what I'm making is, eventually I'm making a blanket, but these pieces are, here, I'll move this to the side. Also have just regular paper underneath of a cutting mat just to kind of prevent the paint from going through. Um, these pieces of fabric I measured out. I bought a yard of each color of the red, green, and white. And I stamped them all different. As you can see, this one's a Christmas tree from my Christmas tree stamp. So those are six designs that I've already done. And um, like I said, I cut these um, nine and a half by twelve and a half. Um, as you can tell, I tried to cover up all the areas um, 
of the fabric and I went a half inch bigger than what I wanted my textiles to be so that way I could have a little wiggle room when I was sewing them together for my pet blanket. So I'm gonna show you first how to cut into this little piece right here. Actually, yeah, let's do this piece. So as you can see on here, I have put little X's in the part of the linoleum. This linoleum is like really, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Flimsy, so you have to be careful with how deep you cut. I just used a basic ballpoint pen to draw my designs on here. Um, to cut, I don't like to go straight up and down because I find that that is a lot more difficult. So um, just staying really, really loose with this as you come around. And I like to spin the actual linoleum rather than moving the speedball tool because it allows me to keep a very, 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 very steady hand. And then I can just put that over to the side and kind of clean this area up a little. So here we go. Yep, I'm just cleaning that out. The biggest thing is making sure that you have the shape you want because um, you can start here and move on, but you just don't want these little straggler pieces to be in your project, which you do sometimes. They end up in there, and that's okay. However, I just like to go ahead and um, try my best to be as sharp as I can. So as you can see, it's very, very easy I'm not really pushing too hard. I'm gently angling kind of like this is how I'm holding it. I'm just going right around it, turning this to make sure that I get all that middle piece cut out. Now, I'm going to show you with a stamp that I've already cut how the printing will work. Okay, so there's how you do that. Now I'm gonna pull out this white piece of fabric. We're gonna squirt some red into our little palette here. I like to make just a line like that. Kinda dab and just kinda like get this to be really even on your roller. Once it's even on your roller, you can pick whatever um, piece of material you would like. I'm going to use Arlo. Uh, let's use the bone for mine. And then I'm going to stamp bones all over this, kind of like this one over here. So I'll show you a couple and that's pretty much all you do. So here we go. Thank you. 